Hello everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. So in this Salesforce Agent Force series, today we are going to learn about what is prompts and prompts builder in Salesforce Agent Force. So whenever we ask to an agent any question or the query, the prompts are how you communicate with the large language module which is LLM. After that, the Agent Force responds to the queries or the request in a language inspired by the human speech and the provide relevant response. Now first let's understand what is the prompts in a simple language. So let me navigate to the browser. So here I opened the chat GPT where we can raise the query or gives the prompt and according to that the agent will give us the response. So here I'm giving the prompt generate an image of a crowd city, crowded city. So I have given this prompt and as I press the enter key. Now here you can see I got the response as per the prompt I provided. So this is the crowded city image. Now let me give the one more prompt with the important information grounded with my needs. So here I am giving another prompt. Now this time here I will provide the specific details again. Generate the image of again crowded city. Again I am providing the city should be an Indian and also give the Indian touch to the image. Now here you can see I provided the specific prompt as per the information I needed. Now again as I press the enter key again it will process the image. Now this time here you can see when we give the specific prompt as per our need the AI can give much more meaningful responses and the difference is here the first prompt did not have the grounded data but in the second prompt it does which is the Indian city. So the designing an effective prompt is a key to unlocking the benefits of generative AI. So in this video we will learn about the prompts and prompts builder in Salesforce Agent Force and in that I will explain how we can use the prompt templates and how we can create those in the Salesforce Agent Force. So for that watch the video till end and don't miss any step. After that you can also able to use the prompts in Salesforce and after that you can also able to create the prompts in the prompt builder using Salesforce Agent Force. And if you are new to our channel hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so whenever you post a new video you will get an update. Now before moving ahead here is very big announcement for the Salesforce geekers. We launched a Salesforce admin training course in that we explain every concept in a simple and easy to understand way. So you can learn step by step with the confidence. So this course is for beginner to the advanced level. In that we have covered 10 modules you will get lifetime access. So here you can see here we have covered 10 modules introduction to Salesforce, Salesforce navigation and setup. After that Salesforce user management. Then we also have covered Salesforce apps, object and tabs. After that the Salesforce fields and formulas, UI customization in Salesforce. After that Salesforce reports and dashboards, Salesforce data management and Salesforce flows. So in this course we have covered everything from beginner to the advanced level. So if you are serious about launching your Salesforce career, check out the course now. We have provided the link in the description box. You can go through it. Now let's jump to the topic. So now let's come to our topic. So we have seen how we can give the prompt to the generative AI. So in the simple words we can say that the prompts are the instructions that we give in the input to the agent to retrieve the information, perform the task or take any other action in the Salesforce. Now let's jump to the Salesforce org. Now here first let me tell you this is the Salesforce trailhead playground org which provide the Salesforce agent force and the data cloud inbuilt in this org. So this org is for the practice in the agent force. Now here first let's understand what is the prompt builder in Salesforce. For that as I click on this setup then in the quick find box let me search for the prompt builders. Now here you can see under the Einstein generative AI here we have prompt builders as I click on it. So this is the setup for the creating new prompt. So here we can create the new prompt. Now let us understand the prompt builder. The prompt builder helps us to generate the prompt template which can be used in the different places. Now it is very similar to the copilot builder where we can add the different action and test the 
how the copilot was working. Again in the prompt builder, we will create the prompt and ground it with the user data, the object data or information that we want to pass to the LLM which is large language model. So now here let's take an example. So here I will create the email prompt template in agent force and that we will create using the prompt builder in Salesforce. For that, let me navigate to the sales application. So we are on the sales application. Now first let's understand the scenario. So here I am opening the contact object. Now as I open any contact record and let's navigate to the activity tab. So here we have task, log a call, new event and then emails. As I click on this email, now if we want to send email to this contact, so here what we need to do? Here we can customize the email body and the subject that we want to send for this customer. Now when we enable the Einstein for sales, after that here you can see, here we have attached file and then the insert merge fields. Here we will get the Einstein email draft button and as we click on that button, the agent will automatically create the subject and the body that we want to send to the customer or the contact. Now before setting up the permission to Einstein for sales, let's understand one scenario so that we can better understand why we need to build a sales email prompt template in agent force. So here let's take a scenario, a sales representative wants to send email to the contact or a lead. So here when they want to send an email instead of creating or instead of writing subject and the body, the agent force agent help them to write this email quickly. So for that for the first time we need to create the predefined prompt templates that email template user can use using this feature called draft with Einstein. So first we need to enable the feature draft with Einstein for that we need to enable the Einstein for sales. So for that in the quick find box search for the Einstein for sales. Here you can see under the Einstein sales here we have Einstein for sales as you click on it. Now here you can see set up the sales email. Now to enable the feature of draft with Einstein we need to enable this or turn on this sales email. So for that click on this toggle button. Now it will take some time to enable. So here let me refresh the page. Now here you can see the sales email and add email prompt instruction has been successfully enabled. Now what we need to do again let's navigate to the contact object. So here now as I refresh the page here you will be see let me open the activity email and now here you can see the draft with Einstein button has been successfully displayed. Now as we click on this button here you can see here we have some email instruction that means here we can provide the instruction. So for example the prompt you give for the chat GPT same like that you can give the prompt or the instruction to this agent and this agent will create the email body as the prompt or instruction that you provided. After that here you can see here we have used pre-made instruction that means the sales email prompt template that we are going to create that will be displayed over here. Now before that here you can see here we only have the standard email templates. Now we are going to create the custom sales email prompt template. So here let me close this one. Now we need to create the sales email prompt template in agent force. For that again in the quick find box we need to search for prompt builder. So here you can see under the Einstein generative AI here we have prompt builder click on this one. Now as you scroll down here you will be see all the standard templates and then these are the actives. Now I want to create the custom one for that here you can see here we have new prompt template as you click on it. Now here we need to select the prompt template type. So as you click on it here you can see here we have different different template type here we need to select the sales email for that as you scroll down here you can see here we have sales email click on it and then here we need to provide the prompt template name. So here I want to create this prompt template to pitch the product information to the customer for that in the prompt template name here I am providing pitch product. As you click on API name it will be automatically populate. Then in the template description you can provide the short information about what purpose you are creating this email template. So here I am providing write an email 
So here you can see I have provided description write an email template for presenting a product to potential customers, investors or stockholders to pursue them to buy a product. So here you can select the recipient. So here I have selected contact. So here is very important thing to create the sales email template. We can only select the contact or the lead in the recipient and then in the related object we can select the objects that are related to the contact object. So here we want to pitch the information about the product for that in the related object here I am selecting here you can see here we have product object select this one and then click on next. Now as you click on this resource this comes with the sender recipient and then product except this one here we have flows apex and then current organization. So from here we can select the current organization details then the sender details then recipients and then product. So here if you want to add any information about them you can click on this resource after that in the recipient type here you can see here we have contact and then in the prompt template workspace here we need to provide the instruction so that the agent will create the subject and the email body as the instruction that we have provided or that we will provide. And now here I am going to provide the instruction for that so here I am providing you are a sales representative and your name is now here I am providing the sender name dynamically for that what we can do click on this resource then here we need to select the sender and then here we can search the name of the sender so here you can see here we have full name first name whatever the fields you want to embed you can do it you can add it so here I am selecting this full name and then again space now here I will provide the more instruction. So here you can see I have provided the instruction. So like this instruction we used to provide give the prompt to the chat GPT or other AI tools. So here I have provided you are the sales representative and your name is input.sender.name. So, thi so this field we have added from this resource then from the sender and then here we search the name. After that in this email you tell the customers about the product its advantage and why the customer should buy it then the customer contact name the contact name we have in the recipient again from the resource here you can see the recipient and then here you can search the name after that we give the instruction start email by greeting the recipient by name that means agent will start the email by greeting the customer and then tell them about the product so here we have added the product name dynamically and then use the description field to add the details about the product. So like this we have given the instruction to the agent or the prompt builder. Now before activating this prompt template here you can see here we need to here we can preview the details for that in the recipient. So here I am searching any customer name. Let me see any customer name. So here we have Lauren. You can also select any other recipient. So here I am selecting this one and then in the related record we need to search the product. So here let me open any product all products. So here we have installation. Let me search. Here you can see installation industrial here I am selecting this one. And then here you can see the preview language here I am selecting English and then save and preview. So the template has been successfully saved. Now here you can see in the resolution the instruction that we provided here they replace the name or the information of the of the object and then in the response here you can see the agent created the subject and then the email body with the greeting to the customer name after that as I scroll down. So here you can see the agent customize the email body to tell the customer about the product information. Now let's activate this sales email prompt template for that here you can see here we have activate button as I click on it. So here the pitch product was activated. Now again let's navigate to the contact object. So here I am opening the contact. Now here I am selecting this contact again click on the activity. Now I want to send the email to this contact to tell about our product. So here I am clicking on this email and now instead of typing subject and the customizing the email body here I am clicking on this draft with Einstein button and then here you can see use pre-made instruction so here I am clicking on this 
and now here you can see earlier we don't have this custom instruction after creating and activating the instruction here we can see the pitch product instruction now here i am selecting this one after that here we need to select the product now here i will select the another product for that let me open the product all products let me copy this one and now here i am selecting this product and then click on continue after that here you can see it's analyzing the request now here you can see the age now here you can see the customer name that we selected in the contact after that the agent also created the subject as per the product that we provided and then here you can see agent also created the email body to telling about the product information to the customer so here i am clicking on this done button and after that if you want to customize this email again you can do it so here let me remove this one so here you can see we can customize the email and after that and then you can simply click on this send button now here you can see the email was sent now let's check whether the email is received or not so let me check in the spam because sometimes it send email on the spam so here you can see as i open this one you can see the subject information about the product and then the email template or the body that we that the agent created is successfully sent to the customer i hope you have understood what is the prompt and prompt builder in salesforce so here i have explained how we can use the prompts to get the effective response from the agent and how we can create and use the prompt builders in salesforce so if you like the video hit the like button subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so whenever we post a new video you will get an update thank you